gentlemen, this is part two of my sun burned eyeballs. This is just going to get into a different side of it. Now, we already know about Anderson Cooper and his sun burned eyeballs and he went temporarily blind. Um, and, it, you know, and this really can shut them down for several days when this occurs. Now, it's usually the people with the lighter color eyes that need sunglasses. This is why sunglasses were designed, ladies and gentlemen. It was really not for everybody. It's for these non-melanated people that needs protection from both the UVA and UVB rays from the sun that need to wear protective eyeglasses when they're outside. So if you are melanated and you're not experiencing any sunburns of the skin, then you really don't have to worry about wearing any protective sunglasses because this was made for them, not for melanated people. Okay, and I know um, I even see some of the articles, black people need to wear sunscreen. No, you don't. Okay, all you got to do is look at the history. There was no sunscreen. Our people served slavery for centuries. Okay, and there was no sunscreen. And, you know, I, I never seen a high number of people over in Africa needing cases and cases of sunscreen okay especially the ones that are not bleaching their skin so in the ones that do they they've done something unnatural to themselves so i'm not counting them all right so what happens we know that they get sunburns of the eyeballs and it burns the cornea and over time it can build up to some pretty bad damage to their eyes and they have inflammation they can go temporary bl temporarily blind and some of the other things that happen due to the sun are cataracts skin cancer of the eyelids melanoma in the retina all happens from the sun to your coccozoid that has a low or very little melanin okay so let's take a look at what it actually looks like ladies and gentlemen now what i'm going to show you is skin cancer of the eyelid all right you see the skin cancer on the eyelid and this is why they need to wear sunglasses this was for them ladies and gentlemen if you don't have anything that looks like this on your eye and you've been around for many years then chances are you're probably protected by your melanin here's another person and i've seen this on several um caucasoids where they have it right here in the crease part of the eye and i never knew what i was looking at now I know what it is. It's skin cancer. Here's another one that has it right on the eyelid. I've seen this before as well on them. And this person has the skin cancer right under the eyelid. See, this is why sunglasses, again, were designed. It, they were designed for them. It was made for their eyes because they just do so poorly out in the sun that they needed some type of protection. And the sunglasses was that protection against the UVA and UVB, but we have melanin, which we have that natural protection. They get it artificially through the sunglasses. Again, this person has the skin cancer right under the eyelid, right under the eyelid.
And then you see it right here on the lower eyelid, the skin cancer. Again, I've seen this so many times on them. It's very common, very common. Okay. So I guess for black people, I can tell you if you want to wear sunglasses, you can. I guess if you just want to wear them because you just like sunglasses and the way they look. But technically, just know you do not need them. They were never intended for you at all. All right, now this is what I'm about to show you next is melanoma in the retina. And again, this occurs in our Caucasian counterparts. All right, you can see that brown patch right there. That's the melanoma of the retina. And I've seen this on them before too. I just thought they just had a dark spot in their eye, but no, that's skin cancer of the eye, of the retina. And you can see it right here on this eye. Woo, I'm happy to be a melanated woman. Mm -mm -mm. I, I wouldn't trade nothing on my body for a coccozoid. I'm sorry. Y'all can keep talking up you're so beautiful and the best and this and that. I ain't falling for it, especially when I see stuff like this. Nah, mm -mm. you tell me where is the beauty in that eye? That is a very sickly looking eye. And there goes some more melanoma of the retina. Hell, you can even see the eyeball has been burnt. You see all the inflammation in the eye. But this is what happens to them, and this is why sunglasses were designed in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when our people served slavery, they baked out in that sun from sun up to sun down. There was no sunscreen, and there sure weren't any sunglasses for slaves. Okay, we were out in the sun with no protection. And our people did just fine. But our Caucasoid counterparts, even to this day, struggle with their sunscreen and their eyes out in the sun. And many of them are out here with no um, protection on the eyes. And this is why it's occurring. They just weren't made for this kind of climate beyond the cave. And that's really what this is showing you. It just wasn't intended for them to be everywhere like they're trying to be. And it, it's really taking its toll on them. They can keep pretending like it's not. Yes, it is. I was out today and I, can't, I could probably count on both hands, how many inflamed red looking caucasoids I ran into in the store today. There were a lot and children too. You know, they don't do well with the sunscreen at all. So it's no wonder why their eyes are getting melanoma as well. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can, ladies and gentlemen, please make a donation to my channel. Peace, family.